saved our ship. And so, nothing is more precious than Americans. And I know that it has caused great heartache and pain because I've visited with families and I know them. But I also want to tell you that I believe that in the conflict in Iraq, with this new strategy, we are succeeding. Now, Senator Obama said we had lost. Senator Obama said the surge wouldn't succeed. He still claims it's not succeeding in defiance of all the facts on the ground. Is it long and it hard and difficult? And are the casualties painful to us? Even one, of course, of course it is. But if we succeed, we will see a reduction in Iranian influence. We will see a reduction in influence of Al-Qaeda. We will see less bloodshed there and the possibility or probability of further turmoil and bloodshed in the region. If we had set a date for withdrawal, as the Democrats wanted us to do, and some Republicans, then I believe we would have paid a much, much heavier price. And I want to emphasize again, every American is precious, and every casualty is something that pains us and grieves us. No one more, as I said, than the veteran. But the consequences of failure would be genocide and chaos on the region. The benefits of success are that we will have a stable government there in Iraq. And by the way, I just would remind you what's happening. Now the Iraqi government and military are controlling Mosul, Basra, and Baghdad, the three largest cities in Iraq. And they are controlling it with American support, not Americans controlling it with Iraqi support. So we are succeeding. We are succeeding. And And we are reducing those casualties, and they are going down. Each one is precious, but we are reducing them. And thank God, they're the bravest, the best equipped, the most talented, and most professional military in the history of this nation. And America is divided of this war. But thank God, no Americans are divided in their support of the brave young Americans who are serving this country in uniform. And I thank you for it, including the Pennsylvania Guard and Reserve. So, so in, order, in order to prevent a wider war and a bigger conflict and greater danger to American security and possibly greater American sacrifice, we have and are employing this strategy which is succeeding in Iraq at great cost. And I want to remind you, I want to remind you that there have been other wars in this nation's history. And sometimes we have had to see it through. We have had because their leaders knew the consequences of failure. And I don't put myself in, the in their category, but I did say a year ago, as you know, that I would much rather lose a political campaign than lose a war when it was not a popular thing to do. And I still believe that today. And I appreciate more than most, I believe, the service and sacrifice that's been made by brave young Americans. And all that, and all that, and all that was brought home to me last August at